Wow, I have so many nice new subscribers. I was just reading some of the comments I'm getting. <laughs> oh, they're so nice. Everybody likes the new camera and the new setup. Look, I bought like three new lights too so that they can be bounced and aimed at different areas instead of just the one. So it looks... My name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps Arizona and today we're going to be doing another thousand mile review of this polar water bottle. I love these water bottles. I'm sure you saw the unboxing when I did my new polar ice water bottle but this is going to be the thousand mile review. I have seriously taken this on all all of my bike rides and a bunch of my walks too since I you know moved out here into the Phoenix area. So I thought I'd do a thousand mile review of this. This is a great little bottle and I've loved you know having this on hand. This is the Polar Water Bottle. Uh, I just got it you know off of Amazon. It's the, the 20 ounce version. The newer version is 28 ounces so it's fancier. And you can kind of see it. It's got the crunchy kind of an aluminum foil thing on the inside between the bottle you know the outer rubber and the inner rubber for the bottle itself and that's just to keep it insulated i think because uh this is a very nice bottle and it does keep all everything ice cold for quite a few hours you know so it's very nice to use and i got this specifically for arizona because it's hot here, you know, and I didn't want to have to stop every five seconds in order to fill it back up. So that's why I ended up buying this. So I just wanted to show you a thousand mile review. First, we'll start off with the cap. What's happening with the cap is that uh, it's becoming, it's very stiff to open. So it's, it's actually quite hard to open when I'm on a biking, a long biking trip and all I want to do is stick this up to my face and start drinking. Well, if I leave it open, the water splashes out. And if I just close it, you know, all the way and then I try to use my teeth to open it, you know, because it's hard to bike with no hands. So you have to keep one hand on the bike and use your teeth to open the bottle. Well, it's pretty stiff and hard to open. So uh, that's definitely one thing about this reason why I bought a new, you know, the new 28 ounce version of this bottle. And I also like it because it's thin and it's tall, right? So it'll fit nicely on the side of like my backpacks, especially when I'm out biking. So it works good from that respect, right? And the other thing I wanted to show you that even though I would clean this all the time, okay, all the time, but you can see uh, down there, especially where they're starting to get some mold. You can see there's dimples on the inside there and you can see where, you know, it's getting to be a little bit moldy on the inside and it's impossible to clean once that started to happen, right? Because those dimples, even though I clean them out all the time, you know, and I, I use the scrub, the bottle brush, right? In order to get it, to get it clean because I can't reach down in there. My hands don't fit. But, you know, I use the bottle brush in order to clean it but still over time, you know, the crap just gets stuck in these little dimples on the inside of the bottle and it's impossible to get clean, I tell you. Anyway, so I thought it was time to buy a new one because as you can see, it's also discolored. It's kind of yellow because I drink tea a lot, uh, like watered down tea while I'm, you know, out biking or whatever. It's just a few, you know, I just put a little tiny bit of tea, but you know, tea is a natural dye, right? And it has been used as a natural dye for thousands of years. So as you can see, it's naturally started to dye the plastic on the inside of this. So, you know, <laughs> uh, so be it. And the third thing for the thousand mile review is that the cap leaks. And it's nice to get a shower in the summertime. However, it's a little bit annoying because it, it does spray me a lot. And, you know, with this cap leaking, it's rather annoying, right? And it sprays all over. It's so stupid. So... You know, I'm, I'm excited to have the new one and I think that it's because the plastic itself, you know, here is especially like maybe corroded or, you know, melted from the Arizona heat. And so it doesn't make as good a contact with the plastic lid, you know, plastic bottle, plastic lid. Gee, it's not going to make as good a contact over time in Arizona because it slowly melts. It, it's a hundred. I use this bottle in 120 degree heat. It's basically like keeping it in a very low temperature oven for several hours at a time. So, you know, of course it's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's going to get a little warped and it's not going to function as nicely as it did on day one. So 
I just wanted to do that as part of a thousand mile review. I have the new one and I've done the unboxing and I've done the versus video too. So go feel free to look at those and see what the differences are between the old stuff and some of the new stuff, right? So uh, I thought I'd just do a thousand mile review. So that way you can see exactly what is happening with this bottle, why I'm going to get rid of it. You know, I'm going to either donate it or try and sell it or probably just throw it away because it's kind of crappy. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this Jillian Camps Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this content if you liked it and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. Or you can like my page on Facebook or on Instagram. That's at Jillian Camps Arizona. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.